Hey, James G here. On this episode of Persona Studio One series, I'm going to show you how to select and your favorite uh, plugins and keep them all in one folder. And as simple of a thing as this is, it's really, really important to do that for quick access. Uh, very simple. So here is our blank song screen. I'm going to go down here to browse, or I can hit my function F5 for you Mac guys, F5 for PC, and then I'm going to pull up here. So uh, you've got a lot of different files here. Most of the time, you're probably going to live in instruments, effects, maybe loops if you do a lot of that style of music. Uh, but these instruments, uh, the effects are up 90% of the time for me. So if you see at the very top here, you have favorites. And I have nothing in that right now. You will start realizing that you see all these plugins, and you've got free plugins and then you start buying plugins and you're just gonna have this huge list and you're like oh crap man i got so much stuff now well you're gonna have your go-to's uh I, every great engineer i know um have always had that yeah we've got our go-to's for the most part that nine out of ten times that what works and then if they don't have something then they might go down that list and start fishing around so um just giving an idea like some that i i always have there um obviously i always have the compressor so uh, if I hit this little flag here, this shows me all the kind of compressors. But if I right click on the compressor, I can just favorite here. And you'll see a star pop up right on the left. If that star is there. That means it's going to show up in your favorites up here. Um, and so as you start using uh, some of these and you start really liking them, just make sure you, you favor it up there. Um, and then every once in a while, I'll go back to my favorites and go, yeah, you know, I don't really use that one anymore. And I will take it off. I just like having that nice little short list to pro EQ, always going to have favorited. Um, so you can always have this nice little list here of um, all your plugins and your effects. You can also do it with your instruments as well. So for your virtual instruments or any VST instruments that you have, I could go to Easy Drummer, favorite that, Presence, favorite that. These are the ones that I use constantly. So they'd be right up there. So that way, when you go into your plugins, you hit effects, you know, you're not, you're not going to be scrolling through all this all day. You're going to probably go to your favorites, be able to take those. Remember, it's such a drag and drop system that you can just drag and drop. You've got everything right there under the same folder that you're constantly using. So take advantage of that favorites in your browse section or your folder section.